I'm a state representative, an organizer, and a proud citizen of the White Earth Nation of Ojibwe. I'm also a mom. And my three and a half year old daughter, Siobhan, reports that when she grows up, she wants to be president. So I wrote her this letter. Dear Siobhan, politics isn't always fun. Sometimes you run into some pretty mean people who don't like you simply for being you. Like that naughty guy, Donald Trump, on TV. The one who says all those nasty things about women and about Native Americans like us. I'm so sorry you have to hear that, my girl. Your name is not Pocahontas. It is Siobhan Mayangan. And you should never let anyone make you feel anything less than proud of who you are. Because despite everything that has happened to our people, and no matter what Donald Trump says, we are still here. And I want you to grow up with our people's values, honoring our elders, showing gratitude to our warriors, cherishing our children as gifts from the Creator. I also want you to grow up knowing that our president shares those values too. That's why we ha will have that Hillary sign out on our lawn. We can trust her to keep our women safe, our veterans well cared for, and keep the promises the United States has made to our tribes. Most importantly, Hillary knows that our children are sacred. Back before you were born, Hillary worked at a place called the Children's Defense Fund, just like your mommy, helping to make sure that kids with disabilities could go to good schools, just like everyone else. And then, also just like your mommy, she decided to run for office. And the bullies did not like that at all. But Hillary didn't let them stop her. She never lets bullies stop her, and neither should you. Now, you can't run to be the first Native American president until you're 35, but you can come knock on doors with me for Hillary this fall. And I'll be so, so proud to bring you with me to vote for her on November 8th. And someday, I'll vote for you. Love, Mommy. Jimmy Gwitch.